good day and welcome to today's construction class. My name remains Olua Tumbi Blessing or Laleko, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we'll be considering this problem as displayed on the screen, which is the continuation of the series conversion from orthographic projection to isometric projection. Alright, today we we'll continue this series and this is going to be our uh, problem number nine, which is going to start as uh, part nine of series nine. Alright. So it is in our third angle orthographic projection. Alright. So at the top, I have my what's my plan, and underneath I have my what's my elevation, my elevation. And we're told to make this mark A as our lowest point. So as I said earlier on, please, if you haven't been following this series from part one, I will implore you to go back to our page and start watching it from part one so that you can actually understand the concept in depth. Alright. So the very first thing you need to actually do is to is to produce a lot of a thin horizontal line, all right? Then uh, you produce your what your isometric plane, which is at what at mark of thirty degrees to the horizontal, thirty degrees, thirty degrees to the horizontal. So after doing that, we're told that this area, which is this, should be our our bottom part. Okay. So take note of this. Take note of this. This area of my plan, this mark and this mark of my plan, you notice that it aligns with me with this area here, this junction here, this edge. Here. Take note, take note of that. And also this area of my plan, you see, it aligns with me with this hidden line here, where it ends here. It aligns with it also. Take note. You figure that out. So which means this area has something in common with this area. And these two lines here have something in common with us with this area here. So that should actually give you a picture of how uh, this object is actually going to look like. Alright. So if that is the case, uh I'm going to actually start from this area showing uh, this view on this. I'm going to be having this like this right here. Alright. So I'm not going to be having that right here. So if that is the case, then this is going to be going uh on the inside like this. Yeah, I should be having something like this here. Right, yeah, based on what I'm having here, this area that is set to the right here. Okay, then I will be having something like this right here and right here. Okay, and right here. And I'm going to be having this. Right here, like that. Are you following? Are you following? All right. So, as it is now, if I'm looking at it from this area on my front view, I already have this place. Okay. If I'm looking at it from the plan, on my plan, I already have what this place, which is what here. Are you following? All right. So, what is the next uh, procedure? The next procedure. It has an height right here, like this. This height right here. Okay. And on that height, uh, let's uh, actually. So from this area now, this area is actually slant. It's slant. Okay, so instead of this coming up here like this, okay, it's going to actually be slant like this. It should be slant like this. You take note. So which means this one is also out of the picture. If it's slant like that, then this is going to actually what? Come this way. Right? Is going to come this way, slanted like that. Okay, are you following? Are you following? Okay, so you can see my front view is actually forming itself. You take note of that, All right? My front view is uh, forming itself in that order. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to actually uh, introduce a uh, thickness like this, something like this. And like this, okay. And this area is going to actually come slanting, okay. That's wrong. Uh, sorry, it goes this way, it's going to come slanting like this, also coming slanting like this. I think this area should be joining this area like this, okay. Then yeah. extending beyond this coming down right here. So, you take note of that. Right, then this is going to actually come inwards like this, which means this area is just like this area. Here. Okay, this area is just like this area. Here. 
the right to say to me, I'm going to actually knock this one like this. Right? So I'm almost done. I am almost done as it is. Okay. So this junction here has been figured out right here, as you can see on the screen. So the distance from here to here is the slant. See, if I trace this down slightly, so this slant distance, okay, from here to here, it is what? Here to here, as you are seeing. The distance from this area to this area, if I trace this down strictly, okay, perpendicular to this one, the distance from here to here is what? Is here to here, okay. So this and this that I'm seeing is going to apply for somewhere here. So the next thing for me to do is to actually uh, put uh, this on the inside, like this. Okay. Like this and like this. Okay, in that order, it's going to follow that slant distance like that and like that. Okay, then it's going to what? come inwards like this. Okay, so this area is going to be cleared right now. Okay, so which means this area what? Uh, comes down like this and this goes off. Why is this going off? Because as you can see, the hidden line here. So this hidden area is actually an old part. So and which means this what goes this way like this. So looking at this object now orthographically, my front view is from this direction. So looking at my front view, I have this shape like this, which is what this shape like this. Okay, here is what here and this bottom part as well. This bottom part here. Okay, on my plan. This area and this area here is what this area here and this area here. Okay, this area here like this is what here and here. This area here like this is this slant distance to the bottom like this. Okay, while this space inside it aligns with our heading line here, it is what it is this uh ditch or this slot inside the object. So that is the conversion of this very uh drawing into what into isometric. That is how it is actually going to look. Isometrically. Once again, my name remains Uluwa Tumbi Blessing Ola Legon. And thanks for the support. And you can also support us to actually do much more educative video like this by actually uh checking the like button, which is under uh the video. Yeah, and the tabs under the video you are currently watching below. You can actually make use of the thanks button, yeah, just to support uh this initiative. My name remains Uluwa Tumbi Blessing Ola Legon, the founder of Michael Thank you very much for your support so far. God bless you.